Hi, my name is Natalia Litvinova and I'm a field engineer at Canonical and today I want to show you how you can integrate GitLab with Microcades to automatically build, test and deploy your projects. Microcades is a lightweight, production-grade conformant Kubernetes. Microcades defaults to the most widely used Kubernetes options, so it just works with no config necessary. With a quick Microcades setup and GitLab integration, developers can focus on the project and have a fully working pipeline from build to production in a matter of minutes. Let's start by deploying one GitLab instance and three Microcades machines. I want to set up a high availability Microcades, but you can use only one machine for testing purposes. Today I will be using Juju Operator Manager with an Amazon provider, but you can choose between any other public or private cloud providers and a bare metal option. I have already added my AWS credentials and now I need to bootstrap my controller. Let's check the bundle. This bundle will deploy Ubuntu Charm to four machines. All of the machines will have 16GB RAM and 40GB storage. Now let's deploy the bundle. Let's wait till the deployment succeeds. Now we need to open some ports for GitLab Dashboard, Container Registry and Kate's Cluster API. and expose applications. Now we can prepare for the GitLab installation. First, SSH into the GitLab instance. I have already created a DNS entry on my domain for the GitLab instance. This is required for issuing a Let's Encrypt certificate and creating your container registry in GitLab. To make sure that Let's Encrypt will be available to issue the certificate, I will start a simple Docker container on port 80. and check the domain on letsdebug.net. I can see that everything went fine, so now I can stop the container to release port 80. and proceed with the recommended GitLab installation. On your first visit, you'll be redirected to a password reset screen. Provide the password for the initial administrator account, and then you will be redirected back to the login screen. Use the default account's username root to login. Now we can begin with the Microcades installation. To use the external IP address to expose the cluster API, we need to regenerate microgate certificates. 
I am going to add MicroKids Instance IP to the certificate template and then restart the services. In order to enable HA, we will need to generate two join tokens and then run the join command on the other microgates machines. It may take a few minutes to finish successfully. Let's enable DNS and storage add-ons. Microkids uses the namespace kubectl command to prevent conflicts with any existing installs of kubectl. If you don't have an existing install, it's easier to add an alias uh, like this. Our microcase configuration is complete and we can go and integrate the cluster with GitLab. Create a new project. I'm going to call it microcase cats and make it public. Next, go to operations, Kubernetes and add a new cluster. We're going to connect with our existing cluster. Our API URL will be the microskates IP address. The port will be 16443. To extract the certificate, we need to go back on the Microskates instance. Next, we need to extract the service token. For this, we need to create a cluster role binding.
I'm just gonna copy this file, but as you can see, we're creating a service account and a cluster role binding for GitLab. And apply it. I'm gonna disable airbag for a cluster and create it. Our cluster is connected to the GitLab, but we also need to install some applications for the auto DevOps to work correctly. First, I'm gonna install the GitLab runner. Then Prometheus and the Cert Manager. Before installing Ingress, we also need to enable MetalD add-on for the load balancing. To do this, we need to choose the correct IP range for MetalD to choose from. I'm going to choose the range from 1 to 21. Now we can install Ingress. To be able to run auto review and auto deploy stages, we need to set up a base domain and point wildcard DNS to Ingress endpoint. We can set base domain here. I already pointed my domain to the Ingress IP address. I will also disable the testing stages because I don't want to run the testing for this project. You can do it in CICD section of the settings. Now let's add some code to our repository and see the pipelines running. Before that, I want to add my SSH key to be able to push the to repository. Log in and clone an existing project. My project is just a simple Nginx app that will greet the user with a cat picture. As you can see already, I have a docker file that will enable the auto build stage. I also have a GitLab directory with auto deploy values file that changes the default application port to 80. Let's push the project to our GitLab repo.
As you can see, we added the files. And now let's check the pipelines running. Okay, it started the execution and after some time we can see every stage being completed. We can click on a job to see how our container was deployed in the production on our cluster. Let's copy the address. But to act access this page, we need to shuttle from the microgates machine to ingress address. Great, now we have a mail from Kubernetes. Now, let's check how GitLab would behave if we push something to the repository. I will switch to a new branch and replace an old pictures with a new one. As we can see, the new pipeline has already been started, and after some time we can visit the review page again. And that is how we can easily set up a working CSCD pipeline from build to production with microcades and GitLab.